Hi, I'm Kevin Lam from the University of Saskatchewan, here to give this short talk on our paper, The Effects of System Interpretation Errors on Learning New Input Mechanisms. Written with my co-authors, Carl Madison and Andy, this paper presents our contributions to understanding how noise and interpretation errors can affect users and their learning. People interact with computer systems through the use of an input mechanism, such as the mouse and keyboard. These input mechanisms receive real-world analog signals as input from the user that the computer must interpret and convert into a digital format that the computer can recognize and use to execute commands. For example, the Microsoft Connect allows users to perform in-air gestures as a form of command input. There are also devices called brain-computer interfaces that let people control their computer using signals from their brain. However, all these input mechanisms share a similar problem when it comes to interpreting an analog signal, noise. The presence of noise can obscure useful information and make it difficult for the computer system to correctly interpret the user's intended input, which may lead to interpretation errors. Interpretation errors occur when the system interprets the user's intended command incorrectly. These errors often result in one of three types, misinterpretations, where the wrong command is selected, false negatives, where the user enters an input but the computer fails to recognize a command, and false positives, where the system executes a command without the user inputting anything. Noise and interpretation errors can cause users to become more likely to make errors themselves, be less satisfied with using the input mechanism, and have reduced performance overall. We want to understand how interpretation errors would affect a user's process of learning to use an input mechanism. Following Fitz and Posner's stages of expertise development, users start as novices when they first use an input mechanism, and they gradually transition to becoming experts as they use and practice with the mechanism over time. We formed two hypotheses about how interpretation errors would affect learning. The first is the interference hypothesis. It suggests that interpretation errors will interfere with the user's development and reinforcement of memory pathways, leading to a longer learning curve. Our second hypothesis, the retrieval effort hypothesis, posits that when an error occurs, the extra attention and effort spent on correcting that error will actually reinforce the user's learning. To test these hypotheses, we conducted two user studies where participants were tasked with selecting items from a menu using keyboard arrow keys. We created a system that could easily differentiate between novice and expert use so that we could observe their learning process. Participants had access to a visual guide after pressing the left shift key. As they eventually memorized the location of the items, it became faster for them to select items from memory without using the guide. Participants completed three sets of trials consisting of training blocks that gave access to the visual guide and unlimited attempts to complete tasks, followed by a memory test that had no guide and only allowed one attempt. To track user learning and performance, we measured their completion time of the tasks, the rate of selection errors caused by the user themselves in the training blocks, and the accuracy of correct selections during the memory recall tests. The two studies followed similar procedures. The main difference between them was in how participants were provided feedback from the system during the training blocks. In study one, participants were given immediate feedback about whether they correctly selected the item or not. If it was incorrect, they would have to repeat the task again until they got a correct selection. In study two, each participant had to monitor the system's interpretation to make sure that the output matched the item they'd selected. If an incorrect item was selected, they would need to manually clear the wrong item before attempting the task again. We gathered data from a total of 150 participants throughout both studies and in three interpretation error rate conditions. We found that learning had occurred in all conditions of both studies, including the ones that had artificial interpretation errors. As expected, as the rate of errors increased, the performance of participants dropped, more user errors occurred, and they found the tasks more frustrating to complete. In study one, where they had immediate feedback on their inputs, participants were less accurate during the memory tests at higher interpretation error rates, but they completed the tests with similar times. This indicated that they took the errors less seriously since the system would provide feedback immediately whenever an error occurred. Study two showed the opposite when participants had to monitor the output. They took longer to complete the memory tests as the rate of error went up, but their accuracy remained about the same. This suggests that when needing to constantly check for possible errors, users took more care in ensuring that their selections were interpreted correctly. This work contributes new knowledge to understanding how interpretation errors impact the learning process of users of novel input mechanisms. Our user studies showed how effects can occur in both training scenarios and in the real world with current mechanisms. Although the interference from the interpretation errors had a more significant effect, there is also evidence to suggest that the retrieval effort hypothesis may be in effect as well. These studies lay the groundwork for possible avenues of exploration in the future relating to interpretation errors, input mechanisms, and learning. Thank you for watching.